this nice Sunday morning, we're going to make uh, honeycomb chow. And that's real simple. I'm going to show you the angles on this. It's real simple to do. So you do, you cut the length of board you want. And then you set your miter saw at 30 degrees. And you cut six pieces. That makes a honeycomb. So we'll cut uh, some few pieces here and then we'll get to assembly. Tight Bond 2. Now, this is not a sponsor, of course. But you know, Tight Bond, if you want to send me something, I will be happily be a sponsor because I use a lot of your stuff. So, I know I have a leaky air hose. I can't get one in because I'm poor. You'll hear stuff drop every once in a while. Alright. So, what do you do to make honeycomb shells? Use a nail gun and you glue pieces together angle to angle. Now, when using a nail gun, always be protected. It's just like a gun. I unfortunately have been uh, had nails in me, it's not fun. I'm still learning, but there's a certain way to point the gun and then the nails will shoot out the wrong direction and go to your finger, but it's okay. Always use, if you're a child, always use, always use adult supervision when using nail gun. Okay, so you put your glue on the angle of the wood. Now I'm using a brush like this, so I'm using less glue, but enough to cut it evenly and then I won't have uh, dripping glue everywhere and it'll be cause less sanding to do. So you put them together like this, so. This is very tricky. May, not very coordinated. Put the first screw or nail in. Boom. Just like that. Boom, just like that. I usually two, do two nails. Now the next piece. Get your glue. You can use, uh, I mostly use wood glue. I just use, use the Type Bond 2 because it's the uh, the brand I, I favor. There we go. We angle. Put angle to angle. I'm having a heyday with this air hose. Boom. We got it. Nice. Sometimes it will move. That's common. You must get the grip right there. Boom, right there. It is. So far, it's kind of hard to judge the angle where you want to put the uh, nail at. Maybe in a later video. I have uh, better video equipment. Okay. 
angle to angle to angle again, more wood. A lot of people love honeycomb shells. Just put that out there. Springtime is coming. There's a lot of bee lovers. I love uh, putting uh, plants on these, crystals, anything, you know. This will be actually part of. This will be a, a honeycomb, but there will be uh, three honeycombs and they're going to be stacked vertically on top of each other. And then I'll put a board right in the middle for a shelf and there'll be a, a three tier honeycomb standing. And I'll make it a wall shelf or you can actually just sit on the ground and uh, put. I didn't put any glue on that. Look at that. Professional. So I am a professional. Sometimes you forget, yeah. It happens. so nicely and then your final piece you want to glue both sides now these uh, I usually do unfinished so I let the buyer if they want a lot of people just like unfinished wood uh, there's there's a few out there that like to paint, so that's why I do a lot of unfinished shelving. So people can, I just want people get creative. I always like to see the pictures. Pictures of the ones. So we'll turn it here so you can kind of see. Together. Sometimes it doesn't want to uh, come together, so that's when the uh, brute force comes. Honeycomb. That. Yeah. I got uh, three more to build, which will be uh, sped up. Starting right now.
16 inches wide. That's pretty nice. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to let them dry. And we'll get back to it. And mostly, this is what it's going to be. On top of each other. going to be a vertical kind of shelf. And then I'm going to put a shelf in between here. Here. And the very top one in the middle. It'll stand up. And then, then the next one that I will build will be another three, uh, three honeycombs. Move these clamps out of the way. It's always good to have plenty of clamps. During the woodworking, you know what I mean by having a lot of clamps. And the other form I'm going for is this way. There'll be three. It's like an arc. There'll be a bookshelf here, bookshelf here, bookshelf here, with the back, and then we put the hangers on, which I use heavy duty D hangers. They hold about 30 pounds. Enough weight uh, not to put something super heavy in there, like an aquarium or something. I can always get heavier, heavier hangers. So we'll be back after this brief moment playing with Gypsy Rose. All right, Gypsy Rose. Oh, what is this? What is that? What is that? Oh, you love it. You're even drooling. I can't, no, can you see it? Come here. You just love it. You just love it. Yeah, you just love it. Bad throw by dad. I'm sorry. Girl. Thank you. Thank you. Let's try a different one. Maybe this one's a little bit better. You like this one? Oh. Oh, you took it. Good girl. Come here. Ready? Watch, we'll psych her. She's like, where'd it go? She's right here. Can you sit? Good girl, look at it. She's just ready for it. Oh, that's a bad frisbee. Leave in the comments what are some good frisbees. Yeah. That's a good one. She's coming from the side. Oh. She loves her frisbee so. Come here. Gotta play nice. Maybe the third one that's a charm. Nope. Now you see we got our shelf in. Very nice. It's always level. 30 degree cut. Sides in real good. A little bit. That's okay. Now, what we do, we use the nail gun. Then, try nicely. Boom, it's in there. On the other side, do the same thing. Flip it over. Yeah. All right, now what we're going to do, you 
to do this, but I do it since I am selling these. I'm going to round the edges off and I'm also going to sand the nails down. Now with this sandpaper I could easily even take these heads off, evenly to the wood. We'll sand them off, give them some round corners. It's a little nicer for the customer because you don't want to injure your customer with your product. So we'll start that up. Check, make sure all the nails are sand down. If not, I'll go back over and do it again. This is a honeycomb bookcase or a standing shelf or even a wall shelf. Uh, it's just going to be single. This is actually uh, three and a half feet tall. And uh, each gap, the highest point is six and a quarter inches. So it would be great for uh, putting books on, small books anyway. Maybe you could lay them flat in there. Crystals, plants, skulls, that type of stuff. Whatever you want to put in there. So the next step is to glue each honeycomb to each one. <laughs> So there you go, two honeycomb shelves heading to Face Cabinet in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and hit that bell notification. And we'll see you next time.